here we are in Georgia. It's not just the flag behind me. It's the fact that I'm actually in Tbilisi and I'm preaching here. I came here nine years ago. It was one of the most powerful mission crusades that I've held. And the result was the Holy Spirit changed the whole character of the nation. The president became involved. The president issued a law, a declaration, uh, a decree that there was to be freedom for these evangelicals to preach in what had been until that time 100% orthodox country. And I'm so delighted after nine years to see God is still moving in power and they want me back to have another crusade. But watch the program. I'm so delighted to be with you today. But, uh, you don't understand how actually I disturb the devil. It's taken me 32 hours to get here. <laughs> but God warned me. I was, I, 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 I left home on Thursday. Sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> and the, the night before I left home, God woke me up in the night. And he warned me that the devil was going to attack me. And so before I left home on the before I left my office on the Thursday. I sent a prayer email to our supporters. That when I said you need to pray protection. Because God has warned me in a dream. But the devil is going to attack me. Thank God. Because uh, we were ready to board the airplane in uh, Manchester in England. Manchester the, the aircraft was there. They, call, they called us to board the airplane. But they kept us waiting for four hours before they decided there was a mechanical fault with the airplane. That caused the delay. But the miracle is this. When that flight was cancelled, there were no more places on any more airplanes. Three hundred people were looking to fly. They tried to put them in hotels. There weren't enough hotels. <laughs> God showed me what to do. I found, I found two rooms. They said the hotel is full. God found us two rooms. Which meant we were early back at the airport the next day. They said the next flight is full. But because people were praying, God found two places. 
But you see how important it is that God warned me in advance. So we had people all over Britain praying that God would work a miracle. But when I realized the problem, uh, if the mechanical problem with the airplane had happened, after it had taken off, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what could have happened. But they discovered it first. So it's quite a miracle. But I, I, I want to show you how our God is a God of miracles. Absolutely incredible miracles. I never forget those meetings when I was here nine years ago. And I think I know why so many people came to that first meeting. Because the day before the meeting was to start. I was invited to an interview on your state television. Because a Christian well, a non-Christian businessman had made a film about Bible smuggling. And so on the TV, they wanted me to talk about the film. But I've learned from the politicians. They're the same all over the world. In England, English, Georgia, and of course Russia. Politicians never answer the question. Politicos kitwas ro daus bevin arasodes politicosi am kitwas e pasuk sar sems. They only talk about their politics. Kitwis shem dek minds tawis politika zela parakoben. So on the TV when they were asking me about the film, asrom televizia shi kitwa damisos dokumentor filmze. I didn't talk about the film. Ar mila parakia dokumentor filmze. I was talking about Jesus. Me Davids ke lapa. I'm about the power of God. Ta mila parakia gmerti zala. So if you remember. That was Thursday morning. On the Friday morning, the Orthodox Archbishop, whatever you call him, the Orthodox Prelate, demanded time on TV. To tell people they must not come to this evangelism. I never forget what he said. And this was the morning of the, the, the beginning of the crusade. He said, miracles can only happen in an Orthodox church. Then he got very angry with me. And said David Hathaway is the devil. And I, I think he said that I would have horns and a tail. So you know why so many people came to the opening meeting. Because because they'd never seen the devil before. <laughs> and therefore, but you see, our God is a God of miracles. And at the beginning of 1965, that's when I began the ministry. Under communism, Smuggling Bibles. But 
მაშინდელი <laughs> That's why I ended up in prison. I am mitom dama patimres de chamsos sikheshi. Before you were born. Cher daba debulis ari kawit sogi ertebi. Before you were born. Swiss cher daba debule bits ari kawit. I was in a communist prison. Me ukwe sabcho tat sikheshi wicheki. In 1972. Samos da tormetels. Mm-hmm. So what did I do when I was in prison? როგორ ფიქრობთ რა გავაკეთეთ ციხეში come on look is our god a god of miracles მოდი ერთი ამინი ან კიდევ ერთხელ ტაშით ჩვენი ღმერთის ასაულების ღმერთია which god do you serve რომელ ღმერთს ემსახურები so what did i do in prison რა გავაკეთეთ ციხეში christians in england wrote to me ქრისტიანები ინგლისიდან წერდნენ isn't it wonderful david Kanam shwenier ay ar aris David. You are in prison. Rom chven Englishi var shen ki tsikheshi. They didn't kill you. Ar mokleso. You may be there for the rest of your life. Da sheizleba mteli tsxoreba tsikhidan ver gamokhvitevo. But we want to rejoice they didn't execute you. Magram itsode shentan ertat vkharob rom jer kide tsotsxali kharo. I got angry. Gaobrazdi. Oh come on Lord. Me otkhari ra ari uphalo es. I've spent my life in this prison. მთელი ცხოვრება ციხეში როგორ გავატარო მე 6000 here მე 6000 when i finished evangelizing them what do i do 6000 ადამიანი არის ციხეში 6000 ეს კი უკადაგებ მაგრამ მე რა გავაკეთო and then i remembered ერე გამახსენდა why was i there რატომ აღმოჩდი ციხეში ერე კო სასაული i said lord მე ოთხარი უფალო You put me in here. Ah, mi ukhti rom shen momatavsi ak. Not the communists. Ara komunistebba. You put me in here. Shen momatavsi ak. Why? Ratom. Come on. Why? Mitkhari ratom. Why? Ratom. And then I remember the miracle. Mera gamaxenda sasauli. They took my Bible from me. Biblia ki tsamartves. But the Bible is not just here. Mara Biblia marto akti arves. My heart. Biblia gulshits maks. Come on, where's your Bible? Hallelujah. Biblia gulshi una kondes. It that's where it needs to be. Gulshi una kondes. And so I had another argument with God. Asro tsikheshi kide erti kamati gaumarte gmerts. I said, Lord, utari upalo. 2000 years ago, oriatasi tsis tsin. Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. were in prison sigeshi iqnen why ratom preaching the gospel saharebas kadagebnen why am i in prison merato varak preaching the gospel sahareba unda vi kadago what did you do to them ra shen rogor moeketsi mat aha aha what did god do ra gaaketa gmertsa sent an earthquake mitsis ro gagzavna broke the chains borkilebi datsqdat broke up in against karebebi gaigo set them free da gantavitsupnen i said that's 2000 years ago meotgari upalo es 2000 tsis tsid mokhta half the church 75% of the church samos da 15% eklesiisa says that happened 2000 years ago es gweubnebian chven rom es 2000 tsis tsid mokhta da es sheuzlebelia mokhtes 2000 years ago. Or it has its listed mokhta. But it can't happen today. Yes, we are mokhteba. I said come on Lord. Me otkhari upalo kargi ra. I said there's one verse in the Bible I disagree with. Me otkhari erti mukhliari bibliashi upals veubnebi. When it says Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever. Gana shen ar gvitkhari rom Yeso gushin dges da ukunisamde igivia. No. Ara. I don't agree with that verse. Ara agar vetakhmebi am mokhso me otkhari. I said every day you get bigger. Me otkhari ara igive ki ara khar ovdge. ეს 
I want another miracle. Get me out. Uh-huh. Why not? Same God. Only more powerful. So if he could do it 2,000 years ago, why can't he do it now? Okay, I was there a year. I learned more in that year than I learned in any Bible school. I learned how to pray. And it was just three days after my trial when they found me guilty. And they had condemned me to ten years in prison. I had a dream. Three days after. And in that dream, I saw myself out of the prison, back in England, preaching to 10,000 people in a big auditorium in London, where our church used to have its Easter celebration. So I knew it was Easter. And it was London. And I was preaching. That means I wasn't in prison. You understand? Uh -huh. I'd only three days before been sentenced to ten years. So I began to pray. Lord. You're big enough to heal my throat cancer. Now, why did I have throat cancer? For two reasons. One, to send me to Russia. And the other was to show me how big you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, come on, Lord. Now then, are you, are you bigger today? I believe you are. So, you've shown me the day I come. So, I began to pray into that miracle. But you know, it's it. I then, I then said to the Lord, you know, that, that there's one thing between us. When you give me a promise, I want to see it in writing. But I don't have a Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I a professional smuggler? Come on. Hundreds of thousands of Bibles. Now condemned in a prison. Am I a Bible smuggler? Am I just an ordinary Christian or am I a professional? Am I a professional or professional? I need... I need a Bible in my cell. Now that's a bigger challenge. Okay. Yes, I did. I smuggled a Bible into my cell. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. Well, look, if, am I a professional smuggler? Well, this is the ultimate challenge. There are no Bibles in the prison. There are no Bibles in the prison. How do I get one in my cell? 
otakamde. How how can I do it? Rogur gawaketes. Come on, you're Bible believing Christians. Where my Bible was? In my baggage. Oh, 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 I don't tell you how that miracle happened. I might have to do it again. But I actually got my own Bible locked up in the basement of the prison. Back into my cell. And none of the guards saw what happened. Nobody knew that I had the Bible in my cell. <laughs> I, I, I like working with God, you know. <laughs> I can tell you it's a real adventure. When I was a boy at school, I was always preaching the gospel. And they laughed at me. You're going to be a miserable Christian. You will live a terrible life. I said, no. I'm a Christian. My Jesus is alive. And you boy, I challenge you. I will live a more adventurous life than any other boy in this school. And all I have. I So now I had my Bible back. And I'm still praying, Lord. Lord, Sulob, Twelve years, uh, uh, eight years before. When I asked you for an answer. You gave me the answer. Romans chapter eight. Romelta Merwetawe. I want an answer now. Am I going to get out of the prison? Gawal tuara chemi sakanidan. Tell me. Mitkare. So where where do I start in the Bible? I've been in there now for more than six months. In fact, I think it was nearly nine months by the time I got the Bible. I said, Lord, I, where do I start? You know, if you haven't had your Bible for nine months, do I start in Genesis? Do I do what women do? Start at the end and read Revelation? You know, I, I've learned, I, I, I was married to, to four women. Me, four women. Yes. <laughs> Not at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at the same time. One wife. Three daughters. <laughs> Four women. So I, I learned a lot about women. <laughs> and I know what women do with books. They read the end first. And if it's a happy ending, they read the rest of it. Well, I know the end of the Bible. Jesus comes, and we live with him for a thousand years. So that's good. So where do I start in the Bible? The Holy Spirit said, well, your name's David. David wrote in the Bible. 
All right, then so I'll start reading the Psalms. Da David's got Psalm one bis kitwa. And I was reading the Psalms. Da kitwa Psalm one bis. Came to Psalm 35. Ots da metrut mete Psalm one demi wedi. Verse 18. Da metra mete mochle. And this is what it says. Da i rats eria metra mete mochshi. David says, David ti ambos. I will give God thanks in the great congregation. Rom did krebulshi gangadi deb shen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Psalm 35, verse 18. That's me, David. And I'm going to give God thanks in a great congregation, Easter, the auditorium in London, 10,000 people, I'm coming out of prison for Easter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this program. You'll see some of the excitement with the people and with me also after nine years to see what God has done. This is the evidence before and after. And I want to keep in touch with you. I want you to contact us. So please, all our contact details are on screen. Please be in touch with us. And we want to share with you more of what God is doing today. Thank you for watching. And let me just pray, oh God, just bless every viewer in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. This is Prophetic Vision. It's the most powerful prophetic magazine in Europe today. It's read by almost half a million people in 132 countries around the world. Send for it free and let God show you the path to revival in your life, in your nation. Let me just tell you that I've just written a new book and the reason is this, that we produced a film 20 years ago, The Rape of Europe, and that film is literally so prophetic, the most prophetic film I think ever produced. And it's actually happening now <laughs> while the film is still available. But everybody is saying they want the sequel to it. The sequel is in my new book. And it carries on from where we leave off with The Rape of Europe and takes you through the coming years prophetically until the very return of Christ. For that reason, it is probably the most important book you can get. It's not called The Rape of Europe. It is Babylon and Jerusalem, The Tale of Two Cities. God bless you and thank you. Look forward to hearing from you.